welcome back to the show. We are glad you are with us this morning. And I'm joined by uh, Sitawa Fula. She's a blogger and a mental health uh, crusader as well. She is a finalist for Google's Africa Connect competition. And she'll tell us more about that so we can vote for her. Uh, welcome to the show. Thank you very We're glad much you could join me. us. Yeah. Um, I, I read a tweet. Um, somebody had tweeted and we're talking about voting for you um, on this competition and that it's about mental health. So I followed to read um, what it is about and the fact that you've put in a lot of work to you know, shine the spotlight on mental health issues. I found that that was interesting. So I went to your site and read a little bit more and I was like, yeah, we want to have her on our show. And here Thank you are. You. We're glad you honored our invite. Uh -huh. um, but yours is quite the story, um, the journey that you have been on. And if you could just take us through that um, for a while. Cool. Um, so first of all, thank you very much. Um, the mental health is one of those subjects where yeah. people think, oh, we don't want to talk about it um, yes. loudly. Let's talk about it. Yeah. So um, it's, it's nice that you invited me after seeing mental health. Yeah. People think, oh, can you talk about something else? Yeah. Mm. So my story, um, I have a dual diagnosis. Mm -hmm. So I have epilepsy and I have mental health, mm -hmm. uh, bipolar. Okay. So um, my bipolar came about after a rape ordeal. Mm -hmm. So my epilepsy started uh, when I was in Form 4. Then when I cleared from four, I got ripped, mm -hmm. then got really, really depressed, got suicidal. Mm -hmm. And uh, because I didn't have an avenue or a way to let it out or anyone to tell. And then that was way back in the early 2000s. I would say how oh, old I am, yeah. but <laughs> it was back in those years. Yeah. So Google wasn't something that I have on my fingertips mm -hmm. and I'll say what to do when you yeah. get raped, where to go, the whole 72 hours thing. Right. So, um, so it, it was a journey. It, it's been a long journey, yeah. 10 years. Um, just trying to learn myself and my body and also accept what has happened mm -hmm. and um, realizing that you know what this is what I have right now yeah. maybe tomorrow I'll wake up and boom no epilepsy no bipolar yeah. all that is behind me but this is what I have now and I'm going to however negative it is going to use it to the best to the best yeah 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 and yeah. still live your life to the fullest and that is the most amazing inspirational yeah. part of your story but take us uh, back um, you know for the rape incident you just you said you completed um, from four, from four. Mm -hmm. what happened um, normal Sunday morning yeah we're going to church um, I, I call it ship mentality where we all have to meet as a group yeah. and go to church as a group. <laughs> as a group. I don't know if church wouldn't happen if you went alone. alone yeah. yeah. So, um, so because it's just after form four, so those the um, the form people who've just finished form four mm -hmm. camp. So most of the people had gone for that camp. But right. then, you know, at that time, phones were still, yeah, you're lucky if you had a phone yes. at that time. Yeah. So, um, so uh, I've seen this guy. So his best friend, is um, his house is where we were all, all the sheep were meeting, were meeting. <laughs> so that we go to church. Yeah. But all the other guys had gone for the camp, mm -hmm. and I didn't know. So as usual, went to this guy's house mm -hmm. because that's where we all meet. Mm -hmm. And um, he spiked my tea. So um, this is around uh, nine in the morning. Right. Uh, so he raped me at that time. Mm -hmm. And then when I came back to like... Your senses, he, yeah. yeah, he did it again. Mm -hmm. So um, sometimes I sit and think, oh, maybe it was, it would have been better if you the were, morning yeah. part just happened and it'd be something I've battled with asking myself, did it really happen? Did it not no, happen? Yeah. But now the afternoon confirmation is the one that just Yeah. Yeah. So um it, it was it was a really confusing Sunday afternoon because I don't know if it's my fault. I don't know um if it was worth going to church for, mm -hmm. like, um, God, I mean, yeah. I was coming to, to worship church, you, yeah, like, and, and um, what, what's the, where's the whole protection, where's the whole angels around me thing, yeah. uh, so, it, it's, it's really confusing, 
so many questions and then you have that thing you've been living with I'm gonna get married or virgin and yes. you know like all those things yeah. you were in all those clubs in high school yes. you, you did the whole does that club true love weights you, you even had the certificate, the certificate everything certificate, yeah. you know yeah. so and, and and you're looking at these things and you're thinking these sheets of paper uh, mm -hmm. what are they for like you know so um it, it, it was like a really, really trying time. Yeah. And then the year before, I just started having my epileptic seizures. Yeah. yeah. So the whole family is still not understanding what is What's happening. Yeah. So sometimes I'm hyper, sometimes I'm withdrawn. So that coupled up with this depression, I was suicidal. Um, I attempted suicide. I, like, that's one of those things. I am glad I feel that, you yeah, know. Yeah. You know, you look at your failures and you think, oh, yeah, this is a this good one. failure. <laughs> that one, uh, thank you, God, yeah. for uh, making me feel that one. So, um, and this was somebody you knew. Yeah, this was some, somebody you someone trusted. I knew. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, it, it was just it was uh, very gray. Yeah, very gray. Um, then, so. Luckily, I got into uni. I was mm -hmm. going to do actuarial science. Mm -hmm. I loved mathematics with all my heart. So yes. I was really, really excited. I knew that I'll go to school. I'll Throw yourself into yeah. the books. I mean, the, yeah. we're talking about calculus, statistics. <laughs> That's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> heavy. <laughs> what time will I have to think about all this? Yeah. But, you know, your subconscious mind does not sleep. True. It, it, it just it's working. It's still working. So you have all this pressure from all the school work that's mm -hmm. coming in. Mm -hmm. You have pressure from back there. What happens? You just include. Yeah. 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 So how did the uh, mental health condition come up? Because you said epilepsy was there the year before, yeah. and then this incident, mm -hmm. um, of course, coupled with depression. Um, then when did this uh, bipolar condition come up? Okay. So th there've been a series of misdiagnoses because right. before we eventually knew I have a, diag uh, a dual diagnosis mm -hmm. uh, because today I go to hospital I'm having fits and um, I'm depressed and so they say okay cool it's it's epilepsy it's, it's a convulsion yeah. disorder yeah. Yeah. give this medicine and then it starts manifesting all this manic and depressive bits of it then we say no 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 maybe she has schizophrenia schizophrenia is what uh, we commonly know as when I assume yes yeah so and then sometimes no 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 that's not the thing so I've gone through three diagnoses before wow. now finally yeah they caught it yeah, yeah okay. so the dual diagnosis, the dual diagnosis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and what is it uh, if you break it down for us the condition what happens okay bipolar mm -hmm. the word bipolar means bi is two, two. so polar is the pulse so mm -hmm. you're on two poles yeah so you have a manic side which is hyperactive yeah like right now i'd be hosting i'm um, the camera person <laughs> i'm the guy who's sweeping i'm the guy doing the water the makeup everything yeah. so you manic and at that time i'm, I'm very creative so uh, my artistic uh, work is on a high mm -hmm. very good work um, I'm starting so many projects, like people who know me know Star is promoting this, she's promoting that, she's pro so you, you, you just, yeah. even your speech, even, like, mm -hmm. fast, everything is moving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bloody and then, yeah, and then um, when you have a high, then you have an equal mm. low. So the, 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 the trick is to find your balance. Mm. So when you have a low, you, you, those are the times you'll get on Twitter, you won't find my account. My Facebook account is blocked. My phone is off. I don't want to see anyone. I don't want to speak to anyone. I don't want to do anything. Yeah. Um, and so this happens even now? Yes, it happens. Okay. But, but now um, I've, I've learned myself. I've learned my body. Mm -hmm. um, I can tell this is a trigger. This is a limit. Beyond this, it's, it's going to go it's down. Gonna down yeah. yeah, yeah. So... Okay. Um, yeah, it's it's still a balancing act. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but but I'm better off right now yeah. than than you I were was at before. the beginning. Yeah. Is there medication what helps you with the managing, or is it simply about you 
understanding your body, understanding when this happens or I see this, these are the triggers. It's it's what I like to say, a cocktail of stuff. Okay. There, there's no one like this is the answer. This is it. Yeah. So it's it's a combination of stuff. So mm -hmm. there's the the work the medicine does. Right. There's the work exercise does. There's watching your diet. There's um, learning your body, your triggers, mm -hmm. lifestyle. Like you know, having positive people, uh, positive energy, energy. Uh, people who like encourage and take you as you are. So mm. they know their days. You'll call sit hour and she's then, unreachable. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But they'll still keep trying, trying to call me yeah. until the day I pick, and yeah. life goes on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, I, like I think they're the ones who suffer more, more than, than I do. do. Yeah, so yeah, because other <laughs> ones, you know, as you having those moments, then also affects them in a way. Yes, yes. But yeah. then you also know your true friends in those times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And and I just thank God for that. And then also spirituality, like God is my. Yeah, yeah, he keeps friend. you going. Yeah, he, he just does everything. Uh, and for me. then you have the blog. How yeah. did you start writing and putting down, putting down your thoughts? What, what is your blog about? Okay, cool. So, how I started is during that rip time, I started writing a lot. Mm -hmm. For me, paper and pen were the only things that wouldn't judge me. Like, every day I have a new paper that's a new list of life. So, um, I, I and then learned about blogging, I think. Those were days used to go to the cyber once a week because mm. one of your classmates, I think, went to states or something. Yes. So, so you just go check your Yahoo mm -hmm. to see if, if, if they've written you know. anything. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah, And maybe they've just told you, I've seen snow. And yes. like, yeah, I wish mm. I could see snow. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so I learned about writing therapy. And then I learned that you can put your work, you can share your work online. Okay. So I decided, let me put an, anonym, an anonymous blog about the rape deal. Then I got overwhelming response. Okay. Then I was like, oh, I do not know these people. Yeah. I do not want their comments. Uh, so I, I shut it down. Mm -hmm. I think it was not a WordPress. There was, there was another, and it, it wasn't a blog. I can't remember what platform it was on. Then later, I, I, I just felt the need that this is work I'm doing, I, and I just need to share it beside now my paper and pen mm -hmm. commun community. Mm -hmm. Let me let me share it out. So yeah, I did another blog post. Now I started doing poetry, mm -hmm. so I wasn't really telling you what is happening, but I was letting the word out. So. Uh, different people are getting different meanings from the poem. Mm -hmm. So I might be speaking about a very depressive moment and you get it and you think, yeah, this is very inspirational. This yeah. is, yeah, yeah. So uh, I said, yeah, this, this is a good thing. I'm connecting with people. And then people started writing in and telling me their issues. Yeah. yeah and I'm thinking, uh, okay, yeah, I have problems, but yeah, people have, have problems. problems. <laughs> yeah, you know, so. Yeah. So that thing they say, comfort in misery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, um, so that's when I just... You kept writing. Yeah, kept writing. So your experiences, you read about those... I, I, um, I read about, I think, everything. Everything. Yeah, yeah. Okay. How long have you had the blog, blog for now? Uh, I think since 2008. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, So I do a lot of poetry work. I do a lot of um, everyday yeah. living the highs, the lows, the good, the bad, the ugly. The ugly. Yeah, yeah. To, to decide to now also just put a little focus and attention on mental health in itself. Yeah. Um, of course, uh, from the condition that you have. How was that? How hard was it to penetrate, to get the message out? And what was the response that you got? Okay. Um, I think it wasn't really hard mm -hmm. in the sense that it was something, I can say, fresh and new. Right. Because um, you, you're talking about rape. You, yes. you're talking about mental health. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. So um, Those are deep things. Yeah, so, so, so everyone wants to see what, what are you writing next? Mm -hmm. what, what are you going to talk about next? So um, it became easier. And then the more people email me, the more I see, okay, cool, people need this. Yeah. And then um, a few NGOs caught wind of what I'm doing um, in the mental health 
um, stakeholder NGOs yes. and, and now they took me through the whole mental health um, what it is the mm -hmm. different types and then gave me more understanding so uh, the more I blogged I was, I was not blogging off from just a personal Experience, point of view yeah. but I was also blogging from an informed yeah. point of view mm -hmm. yeah so and, and that also helped it grow so yeah. it's not just people who have problems who read my blog but it's also surprising when we go for all the stakeholder meetings and you see the director of mental health division saying no ah, I saw your post the other day. Yeah, the day. Yeah, and what is it? What was the biggest eye opener for you in terms of just getting and learning more about mental health, the condition, and how and where we are as a country? What for you was the biggest eye opener? Um, I'd say ignorance yeah. uh, from lack of information yeah. and, and the lack of support structures. So um, it's something I've gone through and something many other people go through. So mm -hmm. people wouldn't come out because they know the whole stigma associated with it, the whole labeling mm -hmm. associated with it. Mm -hmm. and, and I thought, you know what, like, this is the cup God has given me and I, I have to use it the best way I can. And so if we are many of us in this ship, we'll find the best way to do it. Yeah. And, and, and so that's why I just said, you know what, I need to get as much information as I can out there. Okay. And I also have to try create these support systems for people as much as yeah. I possibly can and my health allows. And you have. Yeah, yeah, All right. yeah. Um, and now you have, you're a finalist for the Google's Africa Connect competition. Tell yeah. us about that. Okay, so, um, I think I entered the competition on the last day or that last week because yes. I, I just been seeing just a band because mm -hmm. the, the the promotional video and uh, what's this and then I go I check the form I hate filling forms yeah. <laughs> <laughs> many people do many people so I say I'll, I'll fill it I'll fill it I'll fill it and then I just said okay let me just get it over and yeah. done with so um, just said what I do with uh, the Google product, which is now Blogger, yeah. and um, how it's helped me. And um, I get the email and I'm told, mm -hmm. um, yeah, so first I was in the top 20, and then top 10. Yeah, and for people who don't know, Google began the competition across Africa last year and asking people to share how they use Google products. So yeah. you shared your blog saying how you're using it and how it's helping you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And now you're top 10. <laughs> it's, how it's, does that feel? It's scary, exciting. Yeah. It's scary, exciting. Um, scary in the sense that th this was just... It wasn't even like, initially it wasn't my dream. Yeah. I just wanted to get the voices out of here mm. and just release. Right. Because that's what we strive to do every day, mm. to release. Once we stop releasing, then it, it bottles up and yeah. it will blow up. Depression, yeah. suicide, all those things. And now I'm not just releasing for myself, like it's moved from being sitawa it's it's just morphed and become this big thing so right. it's it's scary because i don't know like 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 it's just going and you're like wow yeah. this is happening <laughs> i know yeah you so never imagined never dreamed you didn't go out seeking for it and yeah it is. yeah like like if you ask me what my dream was my dream was to finish actuarial school get yeah. a corner office fall in love with my calculator <laughs> and numbers and I'll just be saying, Sophie, when you reach age 40, <laughs> yeah, your ears are yeah. this, you, you'll yeah. be paying insurance, this, yeah. And, and now it's, I'll get emails to do talks, to, mm. to, to do so many things, to comment on stuff that people went to med school for six, I don't know how many years, yes. like, I just thank God. It's, it's revolutionary. Yeah, yeah. It's become a whole platform in itself. Yeah, yeah. And how can one vote for you? Um, AfricaConnected.com. Yeah. Uh, there, there are like 10 videos. Um, we are only two girls, so you won't miss me. <laughs> <laughs> You're there, uh huh? Yeah, yeah. So uh, log, uh, log in with your Google account mm -hmm. and, and just vote. Once you log in, yeah. You, you voted, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so okay. as and we'll, you, you'll people. tweet us how the process and we'll retweet that yeah, for everybody to be able to catch it. Yeah. Um, people, of course, then you become a voice 
for very many voiceless people mm -hmm. and there are a lot of people who keep uh, people with mental uh, health conditions you know a secret hidden you don't want to talk about it um, what for you is the most important also message that you need other people to know if they have loved ones uh, with a condition uh, that you think is key I'd say support is the biggest thing. Right. Um, I thank God for my family. Um, support, just knowing that we don't know what's going on, mm -hmm. but we are together in this work. We will get there wherever there is. Mm -hmm. So support is the biggest thing. They can be anything anyone else can be. It's, it's just an illness like any other. Like, you break your hand, why should we hide you? Yeah. So it's the same thing. My, my, my brain just goes on leave for a few minutes <laughs> and then it comes back. So it's the same thing. When you break your hand, it's gone and leave for some time. It comes back. Yeah. yeah so it, it, you can do anything. You can achieve anything. Yeah. So it's just creating that positive environment mm -hmm. um, around them. And even if you don't understand what's going, because a lot of people fear because they don't understand. Understand, yeah. yeah. And that's hence the stigma, lack of understanding. Yeah. Cannot relate. Yeah. Then, but but yeah. it's an illness like any other. I mean, I'm a positive mental health narrative. Yeah. And I believe so many people out there can be that support. Well, what, what do you make of say, recently we heard of that breakout on Madari Hospital, and when people hear mental health, everybody just imagines madness. Screaming, yelling, yeah. you know, just doing all manner of things that just are not coherent. What for you is needs to be done even just at that national level, the various stakeholders, because the conversation needs to shift and you're doing that, you're shifting it, you're making us see a different picture. Uh, but more of course needs to be done, more players need to come in and play their role for that whole picture uh, to be achieved of that message uh, being understood by all. Mm -hmm. So for the government, institutions like Madari to help, what, what, what are your thoughts? Okay, cool. Okay, first I'd like to commend Safari Com Foundation yeah. and the Kenya at 50 Legacy. They donated 50 million to Maritare for renovation. Yeah. But I think the conversation should shift from putting people in institutions to community mental health. So community doesn't really mean a village, yes. like would say the KTN community, mm -hmm. like where people have a common interest together and, and, and awareness creation should be number one. Yes. Yeah, just, just getting the message out there. Mm -hmm. What are the signs? How do I know Sophie is depressed mm -hmm. or suicidal? And, and how can I help her? Sometimes yeah. just giving you a hug would be all you need to make yeah. your day. Yeah, so have awareness creation. Uh, Ministry of Education, all these places like... Because they are especially in schools. Yeah, you know, yeah, have the word going out. Legislation, mm -hmm. we've not had proper legislation from 1989. So um, if the president watches, please, please sign the bill. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so uh, legislation would, would help a lot because then we'll have the board in, in, um, in the, the board formed and now places like Mother and all other places that offer mental health services will, will also be in check so we don't have overcrowding mm -hmm. and um, underfunding cases because then they'll control the budget yeah. and, and stuff like that. And then the whole devolution Ubadu should be sorted out so that we also have mental health services right. uh, to the primary most level so you don't have people coming all the way from Trukana yeah. to bring someone to Madare yet they've left a dispensary or a level one hospital mm. in Trukana. That level one hospital should be able to provide, if it has a VCT, if it has a maternity ward, it should have a mental health um, service yeah. um, ward or room and doctor and yes. medicine and all that. And it should be the room next to the store that is I hidden. I know, the <laughs> hidden place. The <laughs> one no one can <laughs> tell when you've come. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. nicely labeled like all the other rooms. This is reception, mental health, city, cancer, whatever yeah. else you're offering. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. All right. Um, and, and this, of course, I like what you said that uh, mental health conditions or illnesses like any other. And um, people with mental health conditions can rise to heights every other person can. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I read that and I thought it was very, very powerful because people just imagine mental health, the brain is not working. So there's no way they, you know, they're thinking or will get to where it is they want to go because mm -hmm. things are not, you know, working as they should. But that is not true. No, it's not. It's, it's not, not true. Right. 
Yeah, I've won two awards. I'm, I'm a finalist at this. I have so many things um, I'm looking forward to so, happening. Yeah. What other proof do you need? What, other proof do you need? <laughs> what happened to actual science when you're in university? What happened to that and you studying? Mm, okay, first I'd say um, the whole going from hospital to hospital, just trying to find out what was wrong mm. in, into it my took school a phase, um, and then also concentration and stuff. So mm. towards, because I did till second year, so yeah. towards second year, first sem. Um, I, I just wasn't like this mathematics thing wasn't. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, yeah. So I'd say my illness in a way contributed. Uh, that, yeah. Yeah, and you have an M M M F. My mind, my funk. A yeah. little about that before we wind up. Okay, cool. So my mind, my funk is. Uh, I don't know if it's a project or organization or yeah so that's my project yeah. and uh, what I aim to do is to offer support and information for people with mental health conditions mm -hmm. and their families um, statistics show that it's one in every four of us who will experience a mental health condition in their lifetime one in every four Wow let me break it down to you in, in your nuclear family you're like for yes. mom dad two kids yeah so one person in every household in Kenya will experience bipolar, depression, drug and alcohol disorder, suicide. And um, for it to become a permanent thing they live with or mm -hmm. just an experience is based on the support they get mm -hmm. and the information they get. So my mind, my, my funk offers that support. It offers that information mm -hmm. to people. Um, so far, we've been able, we also do linkages, like I have psychologists I work with across the country. Yeah. So I've, I've talked to them, we've negotiated rates, so they're charging. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, and, and people now are able to go and get treatment, because now they have the information and mm -hmm. they tell me, hey, I think I might, or my mom or my boyfriend or someone, so mm -hmm. I say, I'm not a profession in that area, I can't tell you, you are depressed. <laughs> so, I, so, see <laughs> yeah, I see it. I see it, I feel it, yeah. So I, I send them to the psychologist mm -hmm. and then now the psychologists have a chat to. with them and then they, they're able to advise or refer them and, and because we've negotiated the price yeah. they are able to pay whatever uh, amount they are charged mm. and yeah we are building a mentally healthy nation that is yeah. awesome yeah. Yeah. Sikawa, you are mm. a superstar Thank you. you are running this campaign in the best way there is and we okay. applaud you okay. and keep running keep doing what you're doing yeah. and uh keep spreading the word and let's vote people yeah follow at sitawa full on twitter and you'll find out how it is you can vote for her mm -hmm. she's a google's africa connect competition finalist using that medium to spread the word to shine the spotlight on a very important issue those statistics are startling one in every four yeah. because it's it's things from suicide as you said from you know being depressed the suicidal mm -hmm. thoughts depression and we all need to help each other and uh, Sitawa leading the way Asante Sana Thank and you. all the very best Thank we're glad you're watching Morning Express we're going to take a short break now when we return we still have Bangla to go uh, so don't go away stay with us right here